For months, intelligence experts have been trying to identify foreign fighters who've joined ISIS. But today, they didn't have to look very hard. The latest gruesome beheading video from the militant group put many faces unmasked front and center. And there are names to those faces. Paul Hunter has the latest on this story from Washington. Paul. Peter, as one ISIS watcher put it today, it's as if they're saying, here we are, come get us. They are the faces of merciless killers, ISIS militants, here in their own video, intentionally unmasked and exposed to the world. In the video, they behead those they force to the ground. Looking for evidence of who did what? It's all right here. Une vidéo. Film de propagande de l'État islamique. In France today, authorities jumped on it and quickly identified one of them. That's him there, Maxime Hochard. Un ressortissant français, le nommé Maxime Hochard. Said prosecutor François Molin, he's a French citizen from Normandy. Here's Hochard in a TV interview earlier, before he was known to be a killer. There are all nationalities in ISIS, he said then. Egyptians, Algerians, Moroccans, Tunisians, Saudis. Underlining one reason ISIS might now be exposing its own people, recruitment. The inherent message to disaffected Muslims everywhere, come join us. Lots are. They were trying to show that this was almost the united nation of jihadis. This was jihadis that were carrying out these beheadings from different places around the world. Intelligence agencies around the world are meanwhile scouring these images. There are no indications any are from Canada, but French authorities think they've ID'd another, and the British say this man is Nasser Moussana from Cardiff, Wales. Whatever is behind the face shots, the videos brought renewed fury and determination in the West. Mr. Speaker, we will not be cowed by these sick terrorists. Well, let us be clear. We are not intimidated. Then there's the other part of the new ISIS video on the killing of American aid worker Peter Kassig. Unlike with previous ISIS hostages, there was no scripted message from him in an orange jumpsuit, no hint of who they might kill next, and no explanation why. Good afternoon. None of that matters to Kassig's parents, Greater who today ask for prayers for their son and for all people worldwide held another. against their will. Our hearts are battered, but they will mend. The world is broken, but it will be healed in the end. The family then asked for time, Peter, to heal and forgive. All right, Paul, thank you. Paul Hunter in Washington.